So this video will be a bit different because I am Jason. A few weeks ago, I had the brilliant idea to make a program that shocks me when I miss at Beat Saber. If you want to see my friends being tortured and in pain, then check out that video. Now how do you go from not having a device that shocks you when wanted, to having a device that shocks you when wanted? This video will go through the process of how I made such a device. Now I already knew that making such a device of torture was possible. How? I knew that there was a way to get Beat Saber to talk to the computer, and the computer to talk to a microcontroller, and the microcontroller to talk to a shock color remote. What message is being sent? The materials I used for this project are an Arduino Uno, a shock collar, some female to male cables, the game Beat Saber, a VR set, an epic gaming laptop. That's all. Luckily, I didn't have to code anything to detect when I miss a note on Beat Saber. There's a mod called Beat Saber HTTP Status, which has the game host a WebSocket. With this WebSocket, the game can send messages to anyone who is listening. It is usually used by streamers to display their scores while they stream. Python has a module that can talk to WebSockets. With this installed, I can now successfully receive events when I miss a note on Beat Saber. So it works. <laughs> now I just gotta get the Python script to go here. I've never used a microcontroller before, so yeah. I had to install all this crap on my computer and it took me an hour to realize that I just didn't plug in the USB thing all the way. Now that I have the connection, I can write code on my computer, save it on the Arduino, and have it running. Ha ha ha. Arduino code, how do you do this? This example shows the simplest thing you can do with Arduino. Oh, what the heck is a resistor? It's like peeling back string cheese. Oh, oh, yes. Uh, yes. Yes. It's Christmas. I use the Python module PySerial to connect the Python code to the Arduino using the USB. I just had to match up the COM port and timing and voila. I had the Arduino turn on an LED when I miss a note. It works, it works, it works so much. Yes. Yes, I can close all these tabs. Here's the breadboard. Let's just balance this camera. It works! I took apart the shock remote in this really dumb way because I was holding the camera with one hand and trying to get cool footage and completely failed. Inside I found the remote parts and connected the shock button to the Arduino. But there was a problem. Troubleshooting. Shoot the trouble. The connection was constantly shocking the person and only turned off when the user misses a note. Luckily I guess that putting power through a circuit constantly was enough to make it seem like it was open and taking that power off would close the circuit. Test number 7652.5. Oh crap. Yeah, this is terrible. This is terrible. Oh, yes. Oh, snap. <laughs> okay. Oh, dude, dude, that is, that is evil. I'm really impressed with this. Usually when working with new stuff, it takes me at least a couple hours of troubleshooting code, but I completed this project within a day. If you want to support Ben and his effort making videos, then check out this Patreon he told me to tell you about because I'm under his complete control.